Hey guys, welcome to another one time review. Today I'm trying to try this uh, Gia Russa. Uh, this one is the Italian Stromboli roll. It is sausage, pepperoni, and mozzarella in a, um, in a crust. It says it is uh, the brush with garlic and butter flavoring. It is 5.25 ounces or 149 grams. We bought these, they were only $1.49 at um, Jungle Gems uh, World Market. It's in Ohio. Um, so it's pretty, pretty decent deal. It is calories for them. Um, calories are 430 calories if you eat the whole thing. And um, uh, I think Tammy took a picture of this. So anyway, that's it. If you want to look at it, you can pause it. So you can have things either uh, frozen or thawed. If you want it frozen, there's the directions for the frozen times. But uh, I found with these bread type things, it works better if you can thaw them beforehand if they give you the option. So this has been thawed in the refrigerator. Probably overnight. I think I put it in last night and um, got it out now. So it says open seal on end of package and heat 45 to 50 seconds. I'll probably just do 45 um, to achieve an internal temperature of 165 degrees. So I will do 45 seconds because that's a pretty good microwave. Keep refrigerated or frozen. Yeah, so I'm just going to open one end of this and I'll probably put it on a paper plate just to make it easier to handle. But uh, yeah, that's all you do. And put it in the microwave for 45 seconds and I'll be back when it comes out. Okay, so here it is out of the microwave. I did um, open the plastic up, of course, and I cut it in half just to let it cool off and to let you see what's inside of it. And then I also flipped them over because um, the bottoms tend to get a little soggy feeling. So if you rotate them, they, uh, they don't get that way. So there's the meat and the cheese inside of that half. And then this half, let me show you. Um, I think some of it pulled out of that to that end, but there, ooh, ah, it's hot. Um, there's what it looks like. So I'm going to let this cool off a little bit because it's super hot and uh, I'll be right back. I gave it a little time to cool off. Not a long time, but just a little while. So I'm going to take a bite of the one that has the ton of meat in it. Well, the deal is when I cut it, I didn't get the meat, but it pulled apart. And um, so I ended up pulling some out of the other end. There's the rest of it inside. Um, it's got a good spice to it. Um, I love the bread. It's very tender. If I'd, if I'd tried that from frozen, it may have been tough, especially on the ends, but um, the way it's thawed and then I did it for the 45 seconds, it's perfect. It's good. I mean, super, super soft. Like one of the best microwave breads I've ever had. And uh, so the texture is really good. The flavors are good. It's got a little spice to it. I taste mostly the pepperoni, but um, I'm assuming, what else did it have in it? Um, sausage. Um, the sausage probably has a flavor too. Matter of fact, I've got a piece of sausage. Let me, let me try just this piece of sausage right here. That's a good Italian uh, sausage flavor, but uh, the pepperoni is what's supplying like the spice. So um, when you get a piece of the sausage and the pepperoni, you taste mostly the pepperoni. But the bread itself has a really good flavor. It's got, um, got that garlicky butter kind of flavor. Yeah, like I said, I'm super impressed with the textures. Um, I think this is a really good sandwich. It's um, the textures are good, the flavors are really good. There's no um, there's no like spaghetti sauce or not spaghetti sauce. There's no pizza sauce or red sauce inside of this. You're just getting the uh, the meat, and the cheese, and the bread, and whatever oils and grease or whatever um, come out of the meat. Um, that's what you're getting inside there. So there's no additional like sauce or anything like that. So um, I just want to let you know that. So I'm gonna give this. I actually like the flavor of this one quite a bit um, and the textures and stuff. So I'm going to actually give this one a five. I really, really like it. I think if you see these in your area and you can get them and they're pretty cheap, but $1.50 is pretty cheap for a lunch. Um, but if you see these, I think I would definitely try them out. So I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.